Hi everyone, today I'm going to be talking about finding a home within yourself. The process of finding a home within yourself can be very time consuming and would require a lot of patience. But this is a very, very powerful step. And once you know that there is that ease, that love and that safety within yourself, it won't matter with whatever people, friends, family, people you barely know, you know, you're around, there will always be a feeling of ease within yourself. Finding a home in yourself is about accepting yourself for who you are, for whatever your qualities that you have and not for who you want to be, what you should be. Finding a home is accepting your true real self. First step is letting go of the blame. A lot of times we blame ourselves for whatever situation we are into, whatever it is that we are facing. And while we are in the process of blaming, we shut the possibility of finding a solution. So it is very important to focus on finding a solution. So the first thing is to stop blaming and accepting the facts as they are. And once you have accepted that, it is so much easier to find the solutions, to focus on solutions and not the problems. Self-care. Self-care is so much more important than you think. Self-care is not about getting a pedicure, manicure done, going out of shopping and all of that. Self-care is about realizing what your body and mind need right now and trying to achieve those needs. Self-care is not about, you know, doing external material things. Yes, of course you can do that, but it is more about finding your inner needs, your inner requirements at the moment. Self-care is more than taking time to recharge yourself. It is about honoring yourself, honoring your body and mind, honoring what you need right now. Self-care is about accepting yourself the way you are and not needing yourself to be anything else or anybody else or anything different. Self-care is about not comparing yourself. Upbringing your inner child. Upbringing your inner child is a little about, you know, those feelings and those things you were attached to when you were a child. It makes it easier to be more compassionate to yourself. It is perfectly okay to think about those feelings and those moments when you know you were happy as a child. It doesn't make them any less valid. So uh, there are things that you should you know still stay connected to and feel happy about, which would happen when you were a child. You are still that innocent person inside, a little more wiser but still that joy at heart, that innocence is there and you should keep doing some sort of activities and habits that will help you keep that inner child alive. So these were the few tips which I came up with for you to help yourself to, you know, just be able to feel comfortable with yourself, to find an inner home in your own self, to feel safe and complete and compassionate all by yourself. If you like the video, please like and share in the comments whatever you think about it and subscribe to our channels. Please like, share and subscribe. Thank you for watching. Bye bye. Take care.